Um, you know, if you have a season like we're having, you're going to win in a lot of different ways. I mean, you just have to win. You can't win the same way. We knew where we were going to get exposed by Florida State. Um, it obviously was a little bit more of an exposure when Pepper couldn't play many minutes at all. And that really, I mean, that really hurt us because you could see down the stretch there when Pepper was in, and our defensive schemes were a lot more efficient and smart. And when she was out, um, we struggled. You know, they're, they're very good. I mean, Natasha Howard and, and um, Sierra Bavard are just awesome, awesome players. And, they, and Chelsea Davis had a great game too. So you, know, you could tell that they weren't going to shoot many threes. You could tell that they were going to throw the ball inside. And you could tell that we had to turn them over. And it, that's what it was. They were getting to their strength and we were getting to our strength. And in the end, um, when we were able to establish a more powerful front line and turn them over at the top, um, that was a ball game. And these two had amazing steals and unbelievable plays to finish that game for us. But, you know, you don't normally win in the second half when you shoot 36%, 11%, and 61%. You don't normally win. Um, so we needed that buck magic. And uh, it, it came through for us because it was really an intense, a very intense basketball game. Way more intense. Um, than the first time we played them, actually. It was just brutal. It was physical, and uh, it was taking everything that we could, and they just played a great game and had a great uh, game plan. And we're very fortunate to have this win. To create 24 turnovers, does that exceed your expectations, or is that what you figured? That's about what we, we thought we would need, yeah. In fact, I mean, I always go, we're not turning them over enough. I mean, that's always in my head. Because, um, you know, the game 15 feet in was advantage Florida State. So the other... 75 feet or whatever had to be advantage Miami. Um, Shadisha and Raquan, you guys combined to score 47 of the team's 67 points. Just talk about how you two complimented each other today. I thought we were both just aggressive. Um, I thought we were looking for each other, we were looking for each other um, more of this game in, in particular. Uh, FSU was our rivals, everybody know that. Um, and I thought we just did a great job of knowing where each other was. Raquan. See? <laughs> <laughs> Did you feel uh, exploited underneath somewhat uh, as the game was going on, the easy baskets they were getting? Yes. <laughs> Period. Yes. <laughs> yep. That's how it felt. And where do you go on that? Just keep working at it? Or? Well, you know, we had to pick and choose when we could throw Pepper back in, and then you just see what a big difference she makes on our team this year. I mean, if we want to challenge for games, you know, I'm telling you, even this week, I mean, last week we won. We beat Maryland totally different than we beat Florida State, totally different than we beat NC State. So we can be chameleons and shift how we have to, the game has to play out for us to win. And we really couldn't do that last year. We really couldn't do that last year. I mean, obviously we missed Stroman with the matchup with Howard. I think Howard is amazing, and, and we need a, you need a quick athlete to, to keep up with her. And that was tough for us. Um, we went small in an effort to try to generate the pace. Uh, that didn't work out for us either. So we had to come back, grind that game down. I was very conscious of the clock and very much thinking, when can I put Pepper back in to shut the, to shut the door on them? It was very much a part of our game plan is to keep the lead, keep the lead, and bring Pepper in. I was somewhere around the four-minute media and close the door. When we got to the bonus, I thought we had the game one because these two and Steph are three unbelievable free throw shooters, and they want the ball. And I figured if we could generate um, and stay aggressive, that we'd be in good shape. They went on that 8 0 run. Did you ever see them kind of get out of their focus late in the If game? I had, I would have called a timeout. I really would have. I, I, you know, there's expectations in games. I mean, we, you know how good Florida State is. We know how the game was going. We were missing some. We, we took a couple of shots that we weren't crazy about, but uh, we um, definitely also had some good looks that I was comfortable with, so there wasn't a lot to change. Um, Steph had a wide open three that was short. Mo had a nice, you know, we just. And now you said it's part of the game, you know, and if you call a timeout and remind them about it, sometimes that's the worst thing you can do. Is that different than past years? In past years, would you have had to call oh, a timeout? Oh, yeah. Yeah, because it would get in the heads of the younger kids. But I got veterans, and they're, I'm looking at them. I, you'll see, I often just look at them, and then they'll nod at me and say, I'm okay, or they'll say, give me one, or call a timeout. I mean, they're telling me. I'm not predicting the game. It's, it's all a very emotional team, a uh, very great relationship between our seniors and, and the staff, and um, it's just raw and honest. And if they need to sign up, I'll call one. But they, they didn't, to me, I didn't have any sense of panic. Shanice, not only a lot of Florida State turnovers, but you guys converted points off of those. What, what went into that, and what has to happen for that to, 
take place. So. That has to happen for us to win. Um, we have to create turnovers. Um, we have to push the, the tempo in games. As Coach already said, 75 feet away from the basket has to be ours. It's 15 and in. <laughs> I mean, we're a lot smaller than everybody else. So we want to try to speed the game up. That's what we do. That's Miami basketball. How does the 200 feel? Or is that just a... Yeah. Good girl. Yeah. Good. Said, the 200 in my career. Feels old. <laughs> old. How many seasons I yeah. coached? Yeah. Oh, that's great. That's great. Tonight. We were so fired up for this game. We were so prepared. We did a lot of shooting. I thought we'd shoot the lights out, and we didn't. So we still won. That's the point. Um, more, on the, more on the turnovers forced on the You had five steals today. A lot of them in the backcourt, not even letting them get past half court. Mm -hmm. um, is that something you thought you could exploit in them? Yeah, that's all Coach talked about. Um, she said if we get up on the guards, then they won't be able to get it to the post. And that's what I came out doing, like pick up early. And one play that I thought was just huge in terms of our confidence and our momentum was they had cut the lead and, and they scored in a bucket and Bay got it up straight on the outlet and went all the way to the rim and got the and one. But it was a reminder of this is this is how we play. You know, we had gotten into a lull and we were playing Florida State's tempo and it was and Bay just picked us up, just had a great moment right there, big time, you know, senior moment. <laughs> and uh, that was huge. That, that that everyone woke up like, oh my gosh, yeah, we are pretty fast. Like, let's play fast again and get our tempo back up. And it was a blur. And sorry, any coincidence? The momentum shifts when they announced that Maryland Duke scored. Oh, sure, they didn't hear that. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, I was kind of wondering why the crowd was cheering so loud for nothing. I didn't see a dog catching frisbee or anything. Like that, so I figured we had some good news. Any thoughts on that that game coming up? That game, we were gonna. I mean, if we had won today and we want what we want, we're gonna have to win at Duke whether they won or lost tonight. You know, so it, it, that that result isn't as dramatic as it seems. I mean, if we had lost, it would have been a little comfort. But since we took care of business tonight, we're gonna have to go up to Durham and do our thing and um, play very relaxed, play very excited, and um, play very confidently, and um, probably defend the paint a little better than we did tonight. And uh, that's that's gonna be our plan. You guys will presumably be a top five team now that they last and you guys will only be top five. It doesn't matter. I mean, it's great. I think it's great. It's great for building a program. It's great for generating interest and all that other stuff. But does that make us hit more free throws or hit better shots? It does nothing for us. Nothing. Um, we love a very narrow focus, and we have a, a mission, and our next game is Duke. That's it. And well, Greg, anything you can say about the play for K? Thing. Yeah, I'm really happy with the crowd. I don't know what the attendance was, but um, it was a fun uh, day, and Coach Al meant a lot to me, and, and they did get a chance to know her and, and see what a classy lady she was. And um, It's, you know, a color just defines so much now in the world. Just pink just defines so much, and it just brings you right back emotionally to thinking about the, the great lady who fought such a courageous battle. So, yeah, it's very personal. Thanks for wearing pink beast. <laughs> rock. Ah, you rock the pink. You rock it. Baseball win? Yes. Sweet. Swept. You knew that too? You heard that in the timeout too? Yeah. <laughs>